So the Tingle Creek is next, and this is two miles again, and this is for the older horses, or the non novices, I want to call them. Two miles, grade one, and the top one is Avro Anson for John Morgan, unbeaten in one run. Distant stop for Craig Allen, Jack Sparrow for Ryan Tamasebi, Moa Leshi Otto for David Robertson, The Camp, Joshua Sutherland, Chesley on Van Rensburg, Coco Bell, John Morgan, Fiorenti, Paul Rhodes, and Friday's girl, Jim Murray. Nine of them men. In this Tingle Creek, named after one of the great two milers of the late 70s, early 80s, and away they go. And a very short run again to the first, same trip as the last race, of course. And Jack Sparrow is in the lead then from Moale Otto in second, and Chess is third. As they make their way down to the second, the one has been really driven up there to try and get a join of the lead is Coco Bell, and I would think that one's probably going to land in front at the next fence if it jumps as quickly as it's running, and it almost does. But Miles Yotto has just about got the lead on the inside, but now Coco Bell asserts over that ditch and takes it up. So the John Morgan front runner has got to the lead, and it's Coco Bell in the lead then from Miles Yotto in second, Jack Sparrow in third, bit of a gap then back to Avro Anson in fourth. And then distance up, Friday Gill's going the shortest way around the inside as they pass the winning post with a complete circuit to go. The Jim Murray horse with the red sleeves, Friday Girl is next and then the back to our Fiorenti for Paul Rhodes closest to us and Joshua Sutherland's the Kent on the inside. But Coco Bell's got the lead then by just about a tail less than a length and Moale Otto is second. Jack Sparrow is third, gap of two then back to Avro Anson in fourth, Chess is fifth, distance up is next and then Friday Girl pulled off the fence, the Kent is still going around the shortest way and Fiorenti is taking the longest trip and another little jutter in the video there so the picture's not coming through to me all that clearly so whether that results in us being out of sync if you're getting them at full speed is a little unfortunate but Coco Bell is in front and Moale Otto is half a length back in second and then Jack Sparrow's third gap off two lengths then to Avro Anson in fourth and Chess in fifth as they come down towards the next with just a little more than a mile to go and over that one they go and we take the quick double on the back straight of the sand down track and then the ditch will come up and then the three railway fences the water jump being filled in at some point and not there anymore and it's Coco Bell in the lead with Mar Lesciotto second and Jack Sparrow third and they're well clear of Avro Anson in fourth and then Friday Girl and Chess as they come down to this next one then and first of the railways which they're over nicely and then the second and oh he's gone there there's a fall there Jack Sparrow's gone so they say if you don't meet those railways right you won't get over all three of them and Jack Sparrow went at the second and Moale Otto is the leader there from Coco Bell second Chess is in third these are well clear of the count Afro Hansen just hasn't got going at all today then distance up Friday Girl and finally Fiorenti there's only four furlongs to go and there's only three more fences to jump and it's Moale Otto who's in the lead by about half a length to Coco Bell in second Chess is third now the pack are beginning to run on did these leaders go too quickly they've still got a fair old way to go that's the pond fence they're over now that's the third last they've got two in the straight one play one one ditch and it's Moale Otto. Coco Bell they come in now towards the second last fence now that Moale Otto on the inside Coco Bell on the outside now Chess is thrown out a big challenge and here comes Friday Girl on the outside Distance Stop is trying to get into it over the second last they go just one more to take now Moale Otto still in front Chess is throwing out a big challenge though here comes Distance Stop over the final fence they go it's Moale Otto in the lead Chess is throwing out a big challenge Moale Otto on the inside Chess on the outside it's got to be a head bobber Chess is getting up but Moale Otto is trying to hold on it's got to be Chess who just gets up on the line I think and takes it and Chess takes it. Chess takes it by a foot, by a battle, and more or less, second half of Anson, third, then distance up, and Friday Girl, Fiorenti in the count. Coco Bell dropped out to be last, and it was Chess who made the move at the right point, and strikes on the post to take it from Wale Shiotto so Chess the winner for Leon Van Rensburg Wale Shiotto for David Robertson was second distance up for Craig Allen third Avro Hansen for John Morgan fourth and Friday Girl for Jim Murray was fifth